Thanks. Hi, my name is Garen Daly. I'm the director of the Orson Welles Complex, a new documentary film. This is Harvard Square. Four decades ago, the Vietnam War was raging. Richard Nixon was president. There were riots in the street. There was revolution in the air. And it was during that time that two Harvard students decided that they were going to make a difference and create a community center. The community center would be a movie theater, but not like any movie theater you'd ever seen before. 44 years ago today, there was a torchlight parade that went through Harvard Square all the way around and ended up here because that was the day the Orson Welles Cinema was born. And for the next 27 years, it became the center for art house movies in Boston and in Cambridge. It became nationally known. But it wasn't just a movie theater. It was a restaurant. It was a film school. It was a film library. There was even the fabled sandbox, but we'll talk about that later. People from all walks of life came in here, and a lot of famous people. Neil Young was here. Jimmy Cliff was here. Stephen King was here. Van Morrison was here. There's a photo of Francis Ford Coppola while he's on the set of Apocalypse Now in the Philippines and things aren't going so well, and he's got a gun and it's pointed to his head. It's a famous photo, but if you take a look at it and take a close look at it, he's wearing an Orson Welles t-shirt. How he got that t-shirt involves a salad and Carl Sagan. But the idea of the theater being a cultural center and a community center was instrumental in how it was born and why it was born. So the story of the Orson Welles it's not about the story of a place that is long gone and burnt back in 1986. It is about the continuing story of exhibition and independent film in Cambridge and in the United States. Why are we making a movie about the Orson Welles complex right now? Well, the answer is I worked here. I ran the theater for two years as a manager, so I know everybody. And so far, everyone has been very generous with their time, very generous with their memories. The history of the Orson Welles is the history of motion picture exhibition for the independent art houses in America today. And those theaters that are trying to survive today, they need to take a page out of the Orson Welles playbook because that is where they're going to succeed. I wrote the script and directed it. My name is Orson Welles. This is a Mercury production. I love credits. I stay to the end of the movie watching all the credits. And these days, I expect to see someone who came out of the Orson Welles on screen. You know, the Welles was a place where real movies were shown to real movie fans. And now we're asking real movie fans to help us tell that story, to explain the history, the impact, the legacy of the Orson Welles. So if you get a chance, go to our website and join us on this journey. The Journey of the Orson Welles Complex, a documentary film. My name is Garen Daly. Thank you.